This video is about the infographic that I've uploaded uh, last week. This infographic was about the light engineering sector. Uh, it contained uh, a five component strategy for the development of light engineering sector in Pakistan. This is my third infographic. Earlier, I have uploaded uh, an infographic on uh, developing export of Pakistan to $60 billion uh, by 2030. Uh, this was the first one that I uploaded. And the second one was on the research, uh, how to uplift research and development and technology development uh, in Pakistan. Now, those two infographics was, were, well, there were a lot of similarities, but they were different in terms of uh, the fact that they were based on functions. So export is a function, research and development is a function. Uh, this infographic is, is based on a business sector and industry. So there are similarities in terms of the components and you know the other uh, areas of strategy uh, but uh, the difference is based on uh, the fact that those were on the functions this is on on a specific sector the manufacturing sector of pakistan uh, it provides uh, employment to around 17% of people and its contribution in gdp last year was around 14% uh, so this contribution keeps on uh, shifting on year-to-year -year basis depending on uh, the performance of the manufacturing sector in comparison to the other two sectors, the services and agriculture. Uh, the manufacturing sector uh, is a little bit more important, although, uh, you know, it, uh, in terms of its share in GDP and, and the employment generation, uh, you know, in comparison to services and agriculture, is it, it, it looks a little lower. I mean, the share is a little less. Uh, but the importance of this sector, I think, is much more. Uh, than its current share and the reason is that uh, the overall trajectory is in favor of manufacturing sector so over a period of time uh, you know over decades uh, the share of manufacturing sector has continued to increase and with the cpac and all the infrastructure and you know connectivity with the regional markets and international markets uh, my belief is that uh, the share of manufacturing sector is going to increase even further both uh, in the GDP of Pakistan and also in the uh, employment generation. So manufacturing sector is a, is a broad sector. It's contained a lot of businesses, including the paper industry, the fertilizer manufacturer, cement, textile, uh, so, so many uh, different industries. And light engineering is one of those uh, sub-sector within the broad manufacturing uh, sector. So the light engineering sector uh, contains uh, sectors or the industries like uh, surgical instruments. Uh, it contains the cutlery industry, the jewelry manufacturing. Uh, then there are fan manufacturing, the manufacturing of agriculture implements and so on. So these are the items which are made in the light engineering sector. And these sectors are mostly uh, located in Gujranwala, Gujarat, Sialkot, Daska, Wazirabad. So this golden triangle in Punjab. Uh, that's where most of the manufacturing of light engineering takes place. Um, there are other cities, I mean, uh, the big markets, the larger cities like Lahore, Karachi, Faisalabad, they too have uh, small clusters of light engineering sectors, but most of it is uh, uh, located in, in the Golden Triangle in Punjab. One of the unique features of light engineering sector is that it is, it's a traditional sector. It's, I mean, the Ownership is passed from generations to generation. These these people were there, you know, a hundred years ago. Uh, so there is a very strong tradition uh, to the light engineering sector that we see in Pakistan, and there are benefits to it. Uh, for example, you know, uh, at a very early age, uh, a child uh, starts to learn about the business and entrepreneurship. So 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 people in the light engineering sector are very business savvy. They are very uh, entrepreneurial. Uh, the craftsmanship is very high. I mean, generation after generation, uh, the skills are passed on. They, they uh, start at very young age and they learn and hone the skill of, uh, you know, the uh, the craftsmanship of uh, handling iron and making uh, products from it. And uh, the disadvantage advantage, of course, is that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the since it's rooted in culture, uh, and there is also an emotional affiliation because, you know, it's passed through generations. So the change come uh, or the development or the modernization comes a little slow. There is a, uh, there is some sort of cultural resistance, slowness to adopting the modernization and the new technologies. 
So light engineering sector face uh, a number of uh, environmental challenges, uh, the macro uh, economic challenges which uh, are faced by pretty much all the businesses operating uh, in Pakistan. Uh, things like, uh, you know, a difficult regulatory environment uh, where it takes a lot of effort in, you know, handling the tech skies, uh, you know, managing the export and import documentation, uh, processing the bank loans and so on. So these challenges are, are there. Uh, the other set of uh, uh, environmental challenges include the security situation, which has started to improve now. The, the electricity uh, shortages and the cutouts and now the electricity is more expensive. So these are the environmental challenges which, uh, like all the other businesses in Pakistan, the light engineering sector uh, also faces them. For the sake of uh, developing uh, a strategy which is for the private sector capacity, uh, uplifting capacities in the private sector, uh, we need to focus more on uh, sectoral level or enterprise level uh, challenges and this is what we have done here. Now, we have identified uh, five groups or five set uh, of uh, challenges that uh, the manufacturers of light engineering face. So we are going to unpack these challenges in, in the coming video. The strategic framework could have got five components, uh, the three goals and the five components of the strategic framework. Uh, and again, we are going to discuss this, uh, this whole infographic in a lot more detail, unpack this information for you uh, in the weeks uh, to follow.